I may have gone a wee bit crazy, y'all. But why not when we're talking about Harry Potter and Christmas combined? So where to begin? I am so excited to bring you this haul today from Amazon. I legit may have gone a little crazy and things you're gonna see today isn't even everything. But let's jump into it. I'm just gonna do what's on top basically. So I ordered, we broke into these already. I ordered more colored pencils. I thought we could get through with the ones we had this last year, but we we're just missing some random colors that we really needed. So I threw them all away, our old ones, and I restocked this one and it came with this art edge it, which has some pretty fun bright metallic colors as well so uh, that has been good because you'll see i ordered some new coloring books next up on top this came in a weird box however all it is is play-doh so it's a big thing of play-doh and it's for my well will be four-year-old for christmas and it has like a unicorn and rainbow little things in here and then a bunch of just new colors for her. So that technically is a Christmas present. And speaking of Christmas, I also got my six-year-old this sand. And we have kinetic sand. I just bought a big tub of it. However, this is fine because it has all the tools and different colors to make ice cream and baking and I know she's gonna love it because we don't really have a ton of tools for our kinetic sand as we do play-doh so that was a present I got some candle making for our holiday season for Christmas time we have never done this so I'm excited and um, maybe we'll get more adventurous and we'll do some dip candles I don't know but that would felt like a good place to start I got another basket weaving kit and this one is still a wickered basket. I'm excited to see how this one is done. It's different than the one I'm working on right now. And my son and I love doing these. So that was for him and I this holiday season. So watching Christmas movies or whatever it may be. I also, this came all broken but I got some more looms for my daughter um I don't know if I'm just gonna like take it out of the box and stick it in her stocking or something but that was for her and I don't know if I've shown this yet I'm still waiting on another book um uh, but this is a complete history of planes and it's really cool because you can build the plane as well and then I also have a book that got lost in the mail some kind of way, but it's the history of planes. Um, another book to go along with this for my son. And I don't know if it's gonna be a birthday present. I don't know if it's gonna be just because present. I don't know yet. It could be Christmas, who knows? Let's see what else I have. Um, I think everything else is Harry Potter. Okay, we're doing our Harry Potter unit and I've bought an all the things and legit not all the things have come yet so the thing i'm still waiting for is the field guide to griffins unicorns and other myth mythical beasts that book is still yet to come but we are doing the waldock ways harry potter unit and here's the deal we are doing it really different not really different but we're doing it different than what she has set up we're not doing all the classes at once um, we're really only doing Mythical Beast. We're going to do um, Charms and Spells. We're going to be doing Astronomy and Potions and Muggle Studies against Defense Against the Dark Arts as of right now. And then we're going to add more in. So if you're also not following me on Instagram, that is where I'm sharing more of the day to day and when we're really actually doing stuff. So follow me there. I'll have it linked below. But let's jump in. So we are in the fourth book. So I ordered the fourth illustration or illustrated book on that one. And from here until the end of November, we are going to still be doing all of our other studies. But when it comes to December, I'm going to lighten the load up a little bit 
we're gonna stop our normal history and we're gonna stop our normal math. For math, my three oldest will be doing this fun unofficial math adventures for Harry Potter fans. So I got the adding and subtracting for my daughter and then I got the multiplication and division for my third grader and my fifth grader. My fifth grader knows division, my third grader does not, so he can at least do the multiplication um, part of that. And if he learns division, I'm okay with that too. I got Hogwarts Library and we're currently reading the Quidditch book out of here. Harry Potter, A Journey Through History of Magic. This is such a fun book. My kids and I have really enjoyed starting this and seeing some of like the actual notes from JK Rowling. There was a map here in the beginning of what she always imagined Hogwarts looking like. So I don't know if that's coming up, but that was really fun to see as well as like how the book got published in the first place is a really neat story. Colored pencils because we bought new coloring books. I bought just the Harry Potter coloring book. Places and characters. And then magical creatures. I did get this zoo in the sky book. The wizard's workshop for sign science activity book which will turn into our science unit i got harry potter vocabulary builder and then as you can see i did get these 3d puzzles which are going to be super fun and we can do these when we're listening to the story on audit when they're listening to me read or we're all listening to it on audible we usually do switch back and forth so we did get the what is this one um Diagon Alley I got I'm gonna put it this way because you can see better Harry um Hagrid's Hut Hagrid's Hut excuse me I also got the school I did not get the full set so there's two ways to buy it you can do the Great Hall and the Astronomy Tower together, or you can do them separate. And I just did the Great Hall, it hasn't come yet, because when I saw it, I mean, Costco had it for like really cheap. Um, actually for the same price as I bought just the Great Hall, it was massive. And my goal is to make a village on our piano for Christmas time, and so, I wanted the them separately so I can separate them like my piano is only so big as well as I wanted the train as well so that one actually got canceled mid-order because it ran out so I have to look into that too but that is our goal is to have the cute little village I was gonna say with Diagon Alley you can buy them separately as well but I thought I got nervous when I saw the size of the one at Costco so I just let's do this make it simple i got glue and y'all i don't think i can wait till christmas for this one i don't know when i'm gonna give this to my kids it might be sooner than later because i'm so excited for this game that is the one thing i will say when i buy all the things i want to do all the things at once and i'm trying really hard this year to spread out advent stuff leading up to christmas and harry potter stuff and all of the things that i want to do i'm like a kid in a candy store and i just want to do all the things all the time so <laughs> i just need to calm down um i also bought i got clue and i bought the chessboard um for harry potter themed my kids, big kids love chess and so i bought that one as well I'm not a big player, but they are, and so is their dad. I don't know if they're really good, but they love to play. I got a few scientific little kits to make life easier during the holiday. So this one was fun, it's Galaxy Slime. So when we're doing astronomy and the constellations, I thought that would be fun. I also got the National Geographic Science Magic Kit. This one also looks super fun. 
I got this one and I might order another one because I didn't realize you get to make this wand but I mean I have four kids so we'll see how this goes it might be better to have a couple of these sets I will play it by ear so that does it for the Harry Potter stuff I am excited to get that next the castle in the great hall and the chess game that no I can wait for the chess but the clue I'm I really want to I want to play so bad so moving on I did order some new Christmas books this year that I am excited to jump, jump into as well we got the Nutcracker in Harlem I got Christmas Spirit and of course Hello Autumn or I'm sorry Goodbye Autumn Hello Winter there's a fall one that says goodbye summer, hello autumn. That's really cute as well. We bought this year Red and Lula. The Wish Tree. A Pine Tree. I don't know if I've shown this one actually. I might have shown the last two before, but this is Pick a Pine Tree. Um, we've had them for a couple of months now, but I did order them. So, I think I did show those last two in my last haul. They were just sitting in the Christmas books because I'm excited for Christmas. And that does it for this haul. I'm so excited that um, we're doing Harry Potter. It just makes me so happy. And my kids are going to be four, six, eight, and ten now. And now that we've gotten past the first three i really feel like there's not really a whole lot that they can't handle in the next one so we may just be keep going and going and going throughout the rest of the series we'll see where the books take us and how my kids do that will do it for this amazon haul if you have bought anything fun lately from amazon leave me a comment down below because i would love to know what you guys are getting in your homes this holiday season as well as I might have to add some more things to my wish list in my Amazon cart. If you like Amazon hauls, give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye friends.